Hey guys, how's it going? Rob here. Today we're gonna take a quick look at how to add a skybox in the HDRP in Unity. I've seen a few people being confused, rightfully so, by how to add a skybox to the high definition render pipeline when converting a project. Usually you would simply go into the lighting window and add a sky there, but if you tried that, you've seen that there is no slot for it anymore. The next logical step would be to add a profile but that doesn't seem to work either. Here what you need to do. First, right click into your hierarchy window, select volume, sky and fog volume. You can immediately see that something changes and a sky has been created. Then in the newly created volume, you will see an override called visual environment. This determines which type of skybox you will be using between gradient, procedural, physical or HDRI. By default, the ambient mode is set to static. This means that the ambient lighting will use whatever profile you added to the lighting window when making light maps. If you want to use the one you just created, either apply to the lighting window or switch this mode to dynamic. The next thing you want to do is go and click on Add Override Sky and then select the type of sky you want to use. You can have multiple sky overrides, but only the one set as type in the visual environment will be displayed. And here we go. Now we have a fully working skybox in the HDRP. This is all for today. Thanks for tuning in into another episode of Game Dev Bits. Please feel free to suggest topics for upcoming episodes. And with that said, I'll see you next time. See you guys!